Hi everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech, where I teach you everything you need to know about your iPhone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on the so-called white and black dot on your iPhone, which is most likely the assistive touch button. This little dot can float around your screen, and if you've ever wondered what it's for or how to enable it, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. To turn on this assistive touch feature, you'll need to go through your iPhone settings. First, open the Settings app on your iPhone. From there, scroll down and tap on Accessibility. Once inside, tap Touch, and you'll see an option for Assistive Touch. Toggle this on, and you'll notice the white dot appearing on your screen. This dot is more than just a visual addition. It allows you to perform various functions like gestures or shortcuts, making your iPhone even more user-friendly. Now, once you've enabled Assistive Touch, you can customize it to fit your specific needs. The options here are quite varied. By tapping on Customize Top Level Menu, you can reorganize the buttons, add new ones, or remove those you don't need. It's not just about turning this feature on, it's about making it work for you. For instance, you can tap the existing buttons to replace them with something else. At first, it might seem like the available options are limited to basics like locking the screen or accessing the home button. But the real power comes when you realize you can add Siri shortcuts, making this feature almost limitless. Speaking of Siri shortcuts, if you dive into the Shortcuts app, you can create your own custom shortcuts to do almost anything, whether it's generating a QR code with a simple tap or controlling your smart home devices, you can add these actions to the assistive touch menu. This means the dot becomes a powerful tool for quick access to just about any function you can think of. There's more. You can also customize what happens when you press the dot once, twice, or even hold it down. This level of personalization lets you control how you interact with your iPhone, making it as efficient as possible for your daily tasks. While I won't go into all the details today, another useful option to keep in mind is adjusting the idle opacity. Since the assistive touch dot stays on your screen, it can sometimes get in the way. Lowering the opacity when it's idle can make it less distracting while still keeping it accessible when you need it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand how to enable and customize the assistive touch feature on your iPhone. If you found this useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Foxtech for more tips on getting the most out of your devices. See you later.